I'm going to talk about the PPM image format because it's human readable. So you can actually write down a PPM image. And let's do a quick example of that. So it starts with a little bit of information about formatting. There's format one, so P1, format two, and format three. Format one just says we can do zero or one to turn on and off things in a pixel grid. And we're going to talk about what a pixel grid is in a second. Format two lets us have grayscale. So we have one color, black and white, zero to 255, representing black to white. Three gives us a red, a green, and a blue. So we're going to use three so we can have color. And then on the next line, we're going to specify how many things there are. So how big our image is. First thing is width. For this example, we're going to say two. And then height, which we're also going to say is two. Then we need to mention what is the scale of this image? Is this zero to 255, zero to 6,000? What's our scale? So we're going to say that it's zero to 255. Now we're going to need a couple of colors. So let's do red, which is 255, zero, zero. We're going to do green, 0, 255, 255, 0. We're going to do green, 0, 255, 0. And we're going to do blue, 0, 0, 255. Earlier, when we were doing the hexes, right, I had to be using FF in place of 255. But in the PPM image, it wants the number 255 spilled out. And then we mentioned that this was a 2 by 2 image. So it's expecting 4 pixels. We've only specified 3. Let's do white, which is all red, all green, and all blue. Let's give that a save, and we should be able to open that image in an image editor and see our red, green, blue, and white pixels. 